So I'm going to install the front fork lock. This is the tumbler assembly. And then the little cover plate with a nail and a small flat washer that goes under the head of the nail. Now to install the lock, the key has to be in it. And you'll notice there's a uh, little bolt head that sticks out of the tumbler, which is part of the locking mechanism. And when it's slid into the bore here, and you turn the key, you can slide the lock all the way back and lock the fork. And when you let go, the little bolt head drops into a second groove cut in the back of this bore. Now to install the lock is straightforward. Slide it in and catch the little screw head just on the inside of this uh, keyway. And then with your thumb, push the blade until it slides into the keyway and the lock's installed. Now I always like to test to be sure the lock's going to work because sometimes um, there's uh, an obstruction or some garbage in the bore here that'll get in the way, but it's working just fine. Now the other thing about the lock mechanism is if the cover's been removed and you can remove the lock, just turn it to open and it'll pop right out of the bore. To install the cover plate, there's a nail, a special nail, and it fits in this hole, so you just drive it in, and then the cover plate can swivel, um, exposing the lock tumbler mechanism or closing over it to uh, keep water and garbage out of the mechanism. So I have the cover installed on the nail, and like I said, the very edge of the cover is what keeps the tumbler mechanism from backing out when you use the key. So just to test everything one more time, there we go. Looks like everything's working as planned. These are all the parts that go into the seat lock mechanism. This is the lock tumbler, and it has a retaining ring that has a little pie-shaped piece that slides and fits in like that. So this goes on the inside of the frame, and this is on the outside of the frame, and it's secured with a small Allen screw. And then this is the mechanism. This is the body and the back cover which is on the inside of the frame and they're held together with two long allen screws that screw into tapped holes in the frame. Now inside the body is the push button for the seat lock and that fits in a hole here which is often fun to get in. We'll see if I can get that to go. There it goes. So that fits in like that, and then that would be the outside. And then there's a lever arm, which has a nose that presses up against the push button. And that lever arm slides into uh, two slots in the body. And there's a hole for a pivot pin. Now this is the pivot pin and it's held in place with two very small snap rings. However, one of them was broken when I removed it. So I took a piece of garden wire, which is just about the right gauge, and wrapped it into the groove to act as a uh, snap ring. And then I can install that from the bottom, and it'll keep the uh, pivot pin from going up too far, and I can secure it on the top with the uh, snap ring. Now the pivot pin also goes through the spring, the spring right here and this foot of the spring goes up against the edge of the uh, pivot bar and then this foot of the spring actually is held in place by the back cover and that's what provides the spring force so in putting that in, um, you slide the spring 
and of course you have a whole bunch of parts that want to move around on you and you get the pivot pin up through into the lever arm which of course doesn't quite want to go there we are we're getting closer there so then it sits like that this will go right up against the uh, arm and then uh, the uh, little snap ring will go on on the groove so that's how all the parts go together so in the frame there's a small notch cut right here and on the tumbler there is a little ridge so they're going to match up and you just sort of slide the foot through like that and uh, you've got the tumbler mechanism in from this side now from this side of the frame I just slide in the locking ring and orient it and then I'm ready to uh, put in the small allen screw and I dropped it okay I found it so just tighten that up to secure the lock mechanism in the frame there we go so that's uh, solid in there Now I take the assembled uh, housing with the latch and it'll slide right in over the uh, locking mechanism like that and then the plate will go on with the long allen bolts and as I tighten the plate the spring will compress as that leg will butt up against the uh, edge of the plate there we go of course you're a little blind here because you can't see the uh, tapped hole in the frame But I think I got it. Okay, there we are. It's assembled. Well, I want to verify that when I push the button all the way in, the latching bar retracts all the way. Yep, okay. That should be good to go. So the other test is to see if the key will lock the button. I can push it in and it doesn't go in. So the lock is working and the seat latch mechanism is working.